Yeah, Shane Keeley says here, worst Cork team I've ever saw playing versus Derry. What are your uh, what are your thoughts on that then? And your thoughts on um, on Cork in general at the minute? Would you agree with that comment? Absolutely. <laughs> and what else can I say? You know, Jesus, like um, where where can I start? You know, and um, fair play to Derry first of all. Derry are a brilliant side. Shea McWiggins shooting the lights up. Potter McGrogan, very good from centre back. And uh, yeah, the Derry folk are very welcoming as well. And they'll do very well this year under Roy Gallagher. But the other side of the story, we scored three points from play. We scored one point from play with the wind. Like, if you if you don't use the wind to your advantage, you're never going to win games, especially against a side like Derry. And why I noticed about Cork and the difference between the two sides. Derry had a plan. Get the ball, kick it long into Connor Glass or Shane McGuigan or Lachlan Murray and they'll claim the ball, put it over the bar. With Cork, once we get to the 65, we'll turn around, hand pass it. Hand pass it again. Hand pass it again. Bounce. So it's just boring to watch. We aren't getting anywhere. We did this. I, I think the only time we actually kicked this with real purpose in the game was uh, the Kevin O'Donovan point towards the end. That was in the 71st minute of the match. You can't do that. It's clearly, you can't do that. And I don't know, half the players, it's kind of sad to see. I don't know, half the players just didn't look interested. I thought, anyway. Like, there is an argument, Dublin in the first half. I know some of the players didn't look interested in the second half against Mayo. But in the first half, there was kind of an interest there. With Cork, it was throughout the entire game. The players just didn't look like they wanted to be there. They wanted to go back on the bus home to Cork. And it was it was just poor to watch. And I know Billy Hennessy played well for the Bars, but he's not a centre-back. He's a wing-back. See the size of him. Like, you know, I don't care what anybody says. We need Daniel Omani and we need Sam Ryan in the full-back line. And to not pick them is criminal, in my opinion. They're... Sam Ryan was the best club defender in the club championship, maybe other than the Kill Crew players, and he's not picked in this team. I mean, that tells you all you need to know about our problems. Daniel O'Mahony, who was exceptional last year when he played, isn't playing fullback. Like, you know, it, it's it's a strange one to know, but it's a, it is very strange because I was talking to one of the players' parents, and um, they were saying the players actually like Rickon. They like what he's doing. It doesn't look that way on the pitch. They, they, they just don't look interested. There's no, you know, go about them. There's no kicking the ball um, in, the, you know, in an attacking manner. I think other than, I think Dan Deneen performed pretty well in Derry. Stephen Sherlock performed pretty well. But other than that, it, it, it was just, um, you know, hard to watch and, even Blake Murphy coming up, like Blake Murphy came on, what, the 63rd minute of the game or something like that. That's way too late for a player of his talents. Like, why aren't we starting him at least playing half the game? Like, we're 5 3 down at half time. We needed to bring Blake Murphy on at that point. Like, and the structures are kind of all wrong, Cork, as well. Like, we've seen so many injuries in the past or the past few uh, months, weeks. Sean Powder getting injured again. Um, Sean Meehan getting injured over the last few weeks Kidding no hand on Aiden Brown And I was hearing from some players in, Within the Cork system In minors under 20s They have a different strength and conditioning coach For every grade One in every grade Rather than just one strength and conditioning coach Each of those strength and conditioning coach or, coaches Are just going to tell the players different things That's just going to cause more injuries In our team Cork are the most injury affected team In the whole country there's the reason why. Like, you mm. know, I I just thought last year with Keith Rickon coming in, this is a chance to build now. I know there's young players, but again, I go back to the if the players don't look interested, what's the point? You know, it's like even the players' heads started to drop, the bars' heads started to drop. And even another point with the bars and um and Cork, the difference between the sides. Ian McGuire is one of the tallest players in that Cork team. In the Bars team, Ian McGuire is about fifth, fourth or fifth in that team. That just shows you, you know, the strength and conditioning isn't there, the height isn't there, our players are, you know, kind of not up to inter-county standard either. That That's just a worry, in my opinion, and it's it's only going to get worse if we don't solve the problem quick and fast. We're playing Galway now on, on Saturday. We're going to get a pace thing, to be honest. 
I won't be surprised if Galway beat us by 20 points. You know, <laughs> 20 Galway, points, you're up. Yeah. yeah. Jesus. Yeah. No, like it's, it's, it's a bit of um, two sides of the story there. Galway are too good for Division 2. We belong in Division 3. And even I've been chatting to some Cork fans, they're saying we'd probably be better than Talton Cup. I don't think we'll even win that. I think Cavan are better than us. Westmead are better than us at the moment. Limerick, if they get in, I think they'd be better than us. They'll hold their own against us. You know, and maybe if we do win it, if we get, it's a way of getting to Crow Park. But at the same time, we're relying on getting relegated for Division 2 to get to Crow Park. A few seasons ago, we were relying to play well against Kerry to get to Crow Park. How the mighty have fallen, Aaron. And, you know, it's only going to get worse if we don't solve the problem quick and fast. And Derry, as I said, performed excellent. Cork, drab, in my opinion. Hmm. Yeah, I suppose. Is there an element of Cork maybe and in, in Keith Rickon's management style maybe trying to conserve themselves a little bit for further down the line for championship maybe? I know that sounds kind of crazy because, I mean, even if they're at their absolute peak, I mean, they'd probably... It would still be a mighty task to, to beat a team like Kerry, but are they trying to... Because I think we've seen this with Cork before when they that year they, they got relegated to Division 3 and they ended up getting to the Super 8s in the same year. Like they, they actually got a lot better as the year went on. So... Do you think maybe there's an element of that, or is that kind of just maybe I suppose looking for some positivity there? Right, it kind of is to be honest. Like um, Keith Rickon said before the year even started, the league would be so so important for this team. Could sit like if we get relegated to Division Three, we're basically in the Tadden Cup, we're right in our own debt warrant because we're not beating Kerry and Munster clearly. Like I know it's in Parky Rain because of the Ed Sheeran concert that might give us a, a big advantage because the pitch was tight and it might make Kerry uncomfortable. But Kerry are still going to beat us. You know, it's not going to change anything. And look, um, even in the Tata Cup, if we perform that way in the Tata Cup, if we get into it, of course, I think the likes of Westmead would beat us, Cavan would beat us. I, I don't want to go too far and say London would beat us, no, but <laughs> like London are performing very well. And I wouldn't be surprised if actually Liam Gavigan performs, you know, like Prime Colour Cooper and Scores ten points against us at the moment. Like it's, you know, it's it's a rough time to be a car fan at the moment, and um, it's quite sad, really. Like coming out of Crow Park, uh, my parents were coming out and uh, celebrating the victory and all that, and my dad was saying to my mom and my grand at that time, "And um, this will be another twenty years. Drink this in." And we were saying, "Geez, twenty years, twenty mm. years. That was twenty ten. We're eight years away from twenty thirty. No, that it's a reality. No." We we won't mm. and maybe we won't even win an Ireland by then. Like it's yeah, you know, it's 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 rough. It's it's really rough to be a car fan and even though we still get the football pod and James O'Donnell who was ranked just third, which is fair. I think Claire have improved, but we've regressed badly. I think Limerick could be catching our coattails as well in Munster. To be fourth in Munster, that's you know, if you said that a few years ago, you'd be you'd be putting in asylum. Definitely, but hmm. you know, it's 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 just rough to be a car fan at the moment. But um look, I suppose the only way is up, but um with this with these performances, it doesn't look that way, unfortunately. Yeah, and Finn says they're uh Derry are going to be big this year. And do you know, like is that maybe the point though, maybe a little bit like they have faced some good teams like in the in the in the and I haven't seen Cork obviously nowhere near as, as much as you. I know this game was on TG Cahar and I, I, I got to see some of it, but like I mean they have faced some tough opposition in the in the opening three games in this division, like Derry, Roscommon, Clare, three teams probably and, and Galway upcoming as well. Like it's been a bit of a, a nightmare fixture list. So like ha- have they faced really good opposition maybe and do you think maybe that's probably why they've looked as, as bad as what they are or is it a case of maybe a bit like Dublin where the fight just clearly isn't there? It's more like Dublin, to be honest. I think the fight isn't there. And the difference is Dublin have quality. With our young players that aren't up to senior Richard County at the moment, I don't think we have much quality at, at this present moment of time. Um, yeah, I suppose it is the fixture. But at the same time, Ross Common were missing half their team because of injuries and Padre Pierce's lads missing. Clare had two injuries in the first 10 minutes. So they, they were there for the take as well. They didn't perform to their high standard. And weirdly enough, I know Derry have really shot the lights out over the last few years and they performed well I don't think that was Derry's best performance on Sunday either by any manner of means they could have even 
pasted us um, really bad if they wanted to. You know, um, it's it's only going to get worse against Galway next week. But I suppose the last three games, it is a positive there. We have me, the way, who are in a bit of crisis mode, a bit like us at the moment. So that'll be an interesting game in its own right. Don't even coming down to Parky Keef. They might have to kill cool lads coming back into the team. Seeing their performance against Mer- um, against Mead on Sunday, there'd be a bit of positivity in down. So that might be, you know, a, a tough result to get as well, even in Parky Keef. Um, and against Offaly, I think we should be able to beat Offaly. Uh, to be honest, I think Offaly are kind of out of their depth in Division Two, has been shown so far in the league. But um. Yeah, I think it's, it's kind of a bit of both at the same time. Yes, we played Derry, Claire Ross Common. Yes, weakened, but very good sides at the same time. But the the performances is the main thing. Like, um, I was listening to, I was talking to some fan as well. And going up to Derry, we wanted a, perform, a, a win and a performance. We got neither up in Derry. And that's the most disappointing aspect to this whole weekend it, it was uh, great to travel up to Derry and love to do so again but Cork just didn't do well at all and um, it'll be a long long way back over the next few years and Keith has a huge job in hands in his hands over the next few years definitely will he last even will he last the two years but will he last even longer than that if things get worse than they are now I don't think he will I, I hope I'm wrong but because I think he's an excellent coach but it's just the talent isn't there, the the drive isn't really there either, and the the confidence isn't there. Uh, Keith was actually mentioning in his post match interview afterwards when you get so many beatings in the past, the likes of Throne in twenty eighteen, the likes of Kerry in twenty twenty one, and Kerry in twenty eighteen, that will take a toll on the players. And um, yeah, you know it's it's rough at the moment. I thought uh, things were coming back to normal for Cork football in 2019 when we started to actually play positive football at the Super 8s and towards the end of the league. We haven't kicked on since then. Uh, we just haven't and we're just back to square one really. Back to like 2016, you know, back maybe to Division 3 and uh, sometimes it might help us but I suppose we've been in that situation before and we haven't got out of it pretty so, you know... It's going to take a while until we're back at the top table. It's sad to see, but it's the reality as a car fan at the moment. Yeah, it is mad, all right, because I do. I think I've mentioned to you before, and I've said on this podcast before, when Dublin played Cork in, in that Super 8s game a couple of years ago, and I remember Cork gave a really good display against the Dubs like up until the final. Dublin pulled away in the final five to ten minutes, but I thought... Coming out at coming out of Crow Park that day, I remember thinking Cork are in a good place. Like they've got good players there, they're building right, and it is kind of incredible, really, how quickly and how sharply they've declined um, over the next couple of years. Thank you very much for watching this clip of the very most recent podcast uploaded on the channel. If you do enjoy this content, please leave a like and subscribe so you're notified every time I do drop uh, a new upload. And it does very much help the channel grow and help the channel uh, reach more people. So I very much would appreciate if you could leave a like and subscribe. And let me know down in the comments below what you thought of the video. You can also follow the uh, page on Instagram and you can also follow on Facebook, Twitter, Spotify. You can follow on all social media platforms forms as well so if you're not already followed over there go over there and give the page a follow to help the channel grow as well so i do very much appreciate anyone tuning in and i'll see you all later